This episode of The Modern Road brought to you by, uh, did, did you see that Veritasium video? Veritasium. Oh yeah, he did the video on what makes a video go viral. Yes, correct, and it's 20 minutes long. Everybody should watch it. It's a deep dive into how the algorithm works and why you could be subscribed to something and still not see it in your feed. Long story short, number one, everybody should watch it. It's in the notes, but at the end, spoiler alert, he says you gotta ring the bell. He turns into a YouTube guy. No, it's... no, no, he, he tries very hard not to. You, you have to though. That means we have to as well. And he's smarter than both of us put together. Absolutely, and as we get closer to a million, we need you guys to mobilize and not only subscribe, but ring, ring, the, ring the bell. bell. Ring Please. the bell, look, we're those guys. Ring the bell, true fans, ring the bell. Fake fans, subscribe. True fans also subscribe and ring the bell. Okay, I know what's going on here. Sick of this. Shit. Brian, Do are you? I'm coming in to get the fans. Okay. All right, Jason Murphy, Desperate Defense Week continues. We did a wallet, we did a two by four. What's next? A billiard ball. Does it matter? Stripes or solids? <laughs> the cue ball is slightly smaller. <laughs> uh, everyone knows that the eight ball is the best way to uh, defend yourself. Of course, right? yeah. You, you say, I'll give you an eight ball. You please don't attack me. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so what would you imagine you would use this for? First and foremost, you'd imagine throwing it, right? That is actually the last ditch thing. You can do that, but imagine how hard it is. And you're probably not going to incapacitate them with your throwing arm. Sure, but I guess if you're looking to harry them and distract them, maybe you can, maybe just the threat of it being thrown at them is enough to get them to flinch or something. Well, that just gives you a chance to get away. Correct, right. but not necessarily defend yourself, because you're right, your ammunition and the weapon are the same thing. Yeah, and so you, you get be... one shot. Yeah, and you gotta be a good shot, and then you've given away your weapon. I'm gonna see if I can, oh. if I can hit Dave. <laughs> so if he's this far away. I would like to first say, before you throw that, you're gonna go get it. Yeah, that's fine. Go away, bad guy. That's not bad. Oh, I hope I didn't lose that. <laughs> it really uh... seemed to go far away. Dude! I heard a clang. There's a can of Fosters. Huh? It hit the can of Fosters, and that's how I knew it's right here next to it. Nice. You kind of clipped him. I think that would give you time to get away, maybe? So if you're not supposed to throw it, I assume you use it as a blunt force instrument. Like exactly. Because we, we, we measured kind of the impact of a fist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could hurt somebody. It's the end of the fist right there. Wow. I wish I could just break this. But I feels like you're gonna smash your fingers though. Exactly. You want to hold it like this with your thumb wrapped around it, but then you are just gonna break your own fingers. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you keep it kind of cupped, then you can like that. Give that a try. Feel oh, okay. that. Feel that. I gotcha. Yeah, that would work. Here, see if you can dent this. Probably not. I mean, that thing lived through thermite. <laughs> did it dent? You oh, it did. Dented it. Yeah, it totally did. Dude, that's great. Nope. That's a big dent though. Oh, that is, that's nice. Yeah. In no universe does my fist dent this the way that did. Absolutely that is a not. tremendous difference. Yeah, I think this is the best method. One of the other methods is actually using it as a fist filler to give your hands some extra heft. That just seems like a really good way to break your fingers. You are going to break your fingers like this. If you hit them without it, you're probably still going to break your hand. Right. If you punch someone. This just gives you a little extra weight, but once you do no, that, I'm telling you the cupped palm method, just being able to go crack, crack, crack yeah. on the, and do they say aim for the head or anywhere else? The head is good. You're going to want to go for like maybe behind the ear or uh, uh, the back of the head or uh, the temple. Yeah, that's much more powerful than I would have thought. Yeah, this one is my favorite method. All right. If you have a long sleeve shirt or something like that, here, knock that up at the end. Sure. All right. And this is kind of Steven Seagal style. <laughs> knock that up at the end, tight, yeah. really, really tight and then you slip the ball in there. So it becomes a giant sap? Yeah. Huh. Whoa! You can feel it all through your arm. Now that you've extended it, you're getting all this momentum and it just cracks right on top. So I'm gonna... Yeah. Is that any, is that any more? I don't think it was any different, no. It's, uh... It was about the same as hitting it. Yeah. But I think you're getting more momentum. I think that is going to be more effective, right? Yeah, I guess. Here, let's try one more time. Okay. That sounded louder. Yeah. 
Not, not as big of a difference as, as I would have expected, though. On the flip side, there's padding around it now. I don't know how much that affects it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that could be. Huh. I think for the time investment, what Tying it takes the to set this all up, and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think you're better off just, just grabbing it and going to town. Well, a better way could be if you have a towel, set it in the middle of the towel, grab the corners, and go. Or pull off a sock down at the bottom a of the sock, sock, I'd imagine it would really crack work. them. Yeah. Yeah. Efficacy of the eight ball, I would say pretty good. Less than the two by four, more than the wallet. Much more than the wallet. <laughs> much more than the wallet. But also much less. Turns out there's a big gap between a wallet and a two by four. There's so, and yeah. this is right there in the middle. Yeah, but again, you know, if you're at a pool hall or a bar or something like that, this is an effective weapon. Yeah, if you just need to triple your punishment power, then I think that's a good way to do it. Don't throw it though. That's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Then you're wandering through the woods. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm it going did. into the woods. I don't I? think it did. That's that's the only one we've got. That's oh boy. Who saw that coming? <laughs>